Here at Station One, we have two fire trucks, two ambulances, uh, the command vehicle, and our chief and our deputy chief usually keep their vehicles here. So we're going to go over a brief uh, tour of our ladder truck. This is where the driver sits. Uh, it takes a lot of experience before you can be able to drive. Uh, this thing is very, very heavy. There's lots of levers, buttons, knobs, everything that you need to know about this truck before you're allowed to drive it. This is the back seat. This is where the firefighters will sit. Uh, we did a demonstration of how we get dressed. There's the air packs that we put on. Uh, we carry some small tools back here. Our fire trucks carry hose on them, right? We got to get the water on the fire. Uh, these hoses, these, this is actually what we call an attack line. This is the hose right here that we're going to bring inside a house or any building that's on fire. This line is 200 feet. This is the uh, engineer panel, the pump panel. This is where we, these are all those levers that I was talking about that we have to know how to get the right amount of water, the right PSI, the right pressure to the right hose. Everything, we got everything pretty much color coordinated. If I want water to come out of this green hose that I showed you, I'm gonna pull this green lever. Um, Fire trucks are like rolling toolboxes. We carry lots of tools because we don't know what we're going to need for each call. So we like to have everything and be prepared for it. Uh, this one just has a couple appliances and hose fittings. That's for making a hose smaller or bigger. This is where the driver typically keeps his gear because he won't get dressed here. He typically gets dressed at the scene because he has lots of stuff to do before he actually puts his gear on. Here's the driver's air pack. Uh, right here we carry foam on our truck. This helps uh, smother the fire, prevent it from, from reigniting. This here is what we, this is called our, our high rise pack. This hose we take into a, a tall building. If we need more hose than what's already in that pre-connected section, we actually take this up the steps, connect it to a, a fitting, and we can have water up on like the fifth or sixth floor of a building. Here we have some bags of ropes. You never know when you're going to need some rope to either move tools, pull people. Uh, we have these fans. Uh, most fire scenes are full of smoke, so we use these fans to blow the smoke out of a building and put in some fresh air. <sighs> so this truck has the big 75-foot ladder on top. You can't see it from this view, but we also carry other size ladders. We carry a 35-foot extension ladder, 28-foot extension ladder, and a 16-foot regular ladder, straight ladder, that we would go to a single-story house to their roof. Mm. This yellow hose is our, our supply hose. This hose is five inches in diameter. This is what actually will connect to the fire hydrant and then connect to the truck. So that's how the truck gets its water. This truck already carries 500 gallons of water on it, but that typically only will last a couple minutes. So as soon as the second truck gets there, they will connect this hose to a hydrant to this truck. This compartment has uh, a couple different saws. Uh, remember when I talked about how houses are filled with smoke, we use the fans to blow them out? Well, sometimes we have to make holes in the roof to let the heat out and the smoke out. So we've got, this is just a regular chainsaw and this is a circular saw. We can cut pretty much any material with that metal. So behind here is that yellow hose. There's a thousand feet of that five inch hose up here. We carry spare air bottles on the truck. There's, there's several on each side. This is what we call our, our rescue compartment. It, it carries most of our, our rescue tools. For example, these are our shears, which are huge uh, cutters. And these are what we call spreaders. Um, 
Some people used to call these the jaws of life. We've got some other tools. Rolling toolbox. This compartment here, we got extra batteries for our tools. Those fans I talked about have run off batteries. These rescue tools run off batteries. So we got this big bank of chargers up here. These are just regular hand tools here. Uh, we carry a lot of kitty litter. Some people wonder why. Most car crashes, uh, the engine will leak oil. So we use this kitty litter to absorb the oil and then we sweep it up so there's no, not any oil on the scene. We got a winch. Uh, we can put on three sides of the truck to, to pull stuff if we get stuck or to move things. We've got fire extinguishers. There's a couple on each side and they each serve a different pur purpose. This is where the officer would sit. Uh, the officer is in charge of the truck. Uh, he kind of makes the, the calls, the decisions. He's got the computer there that'll kind of give them an update on what the call is and it shows a map to help help us get to the scene. On top of the ladder we got this nozzle. This this nozzle can shoot a lot of water about 1,250 gallons per minute. That's a lot of water and the truck only carries 500 gallons so to use that we would have to be connected to a hydrant. 